Factsverse presents… Two men knew their elderly neighbor's routine, so they ran to her house and made headlines. Help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button. And also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Getting older can be difficult. When people age, they often need a little extra help. Some people need a cane to walk. Some need a hearing aid to hear better. Some need corrective vision aids to be able to see correctly. When people get older, they need help with chores around the home once in a while. Since many elderly live on a fixed income, unless the money is there to pay for help, they need to try and do the housework and other chores on their own. And if they can't, things get neglected. A woman in Alabama, she'd been living in her home for decades, and most of her neighbors knew who she was because she'd been living in the neighborhood before they even got there. Her husband had passed away years earlier. She had no children. With no family left to speak of, the woman lived in her home alone. Because she was living on a fixed income, this 93-year-old woman couldn't afford to hire somebody to help out with household chores and yard work. Regardless of her age, she had to do these things on her own. It wasn't easy, but the woman had no choice. Rodney Smith and Terence Stroy were college students who lived across the street from the elderly woman. The two men had lived across the street from the woman for their entire lives. They knew her habits and her routine because they had lived across the street for so long. And one day they saw her doing something out of the ordinary. They couldn't just stand by and watch. They knew this 93-year-old neighbor's routine, so they ran over to her house. Rodney and Terrence were sitting on the front porch of Terrence's home when they saw this woman go outside to her shed. Shortly after, she came out with her lawnmower. It was heavy, and the woman was struggling just to get it out of the shed. Terrence and Rodney saw this, they quickly ran over to give her some help. Once they got the lawnmower out of the shed for her, they told her to go back in the house and relax. They let her know that they would be mowing the lawn for her that day. The two men took turns and cut her entire lawn. When Terrence and Rodney finished cutting the woman's lawn, they knocked on her door, and they let her know that they finished the job and there would be no charge. They also told her that she wouldn't need to worry about cutting the grass ever again. They were going to cut her lawn for her every two weeks. The woman couldn't believe that these two college students were doing something so nice for a stranger. But these two men told her they weren't strangers, not to her. They'd seen her every day since they were little boys. After they mowed the woman's lawn, they created a post on Facebook to tell their story. They wrote, We did this sweet lady's lawn today. She's 93 and was trying to cut her own lawn. Have no fear, raising men lawn care is going to make sure her lawn is done every two weeks, making a difference in our community. Helping the woman gave Rodney and Terrence an idea. They decided to create an organization to help people in need of yard work. They also planned to educate young children about being responsible and even bringing kids in to help others with their yards. The people who the men in their organization planned to help were the elderly, the disabled, single mothers they were sure that it would be a great way to help out. The men decided their organization needed to help people all over the country, not just Alabama. And this was when they expanded their project. Rodney and Terrence have vowed to visit all 50 states in the U.S. to cut 50 lawns. They would recruit people from each state to help expand their tour project of the Raising Men Lawn Care Service. 50 states, 50 lawns completed its second summer of work. Rodney and Terrence, they still have plenty of places to go, and they say they will not stop until they've cut the grass in every state, and they'll bring on volunteers in each state to make it happen. Rodney and Terrence, they didn't start their organization for fame or publicity. They did it because they saw a real need for help, and they wanted to do everything they could. An amazing story. Subscribe for more.